All right, Sean, thank you. Well, the Indiana State Fair, as we've mentioned, is underway. So far, even the weather has been cooperating for this first day. The morning kicked off with the colorful giant hot air race, and the day's events took off from there. And that includes, you probably heard this, metal detectors and new security checkpoints at every gate. That's never happened before. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk joins us live with a look at how that increased security was working today. Hi, Rich. Uh, good afternoon. We've been here all day. From everything we've seen and heard, this new expanded security appears to be working smoothly. People we talked to didn't get any complaints. They appear to be taking it in stride and making the best of it. We've been watching this particular checkpoint across from the Coliseum. It's been busy much of the day. There have been lines, but they were short and they moved pretty quickly. The less stuff you're carrying, the faster you're going to get through here. In the past, metal detectors have been used at selected fair gates. This is the first year they're being used at all the gates. Fair officials didn't give any particular reason, except to say metal detectors are now standard operating procedure at large events. They made the announcement just two days ago. Now, almost everyone we talked to didn't know about the metal detectors until they got here. I thought it was pretty standard compared to everything else. You know, walk through a metal detector, take your keys out, uh, put your phone in, et cetera, walk through, push the stroller through. It was pretty easy? Yeah, yeah. Security workers are looking for obvious things. Guns, knives, drugs, alcohol, things that have been banned here for a very long time. But they're also looking for other selected items that have been added to the ban list. They include some cameras, beach balls, balloons, noisemakers. You want to make sure that you do a little bit of homework, check and find out if anything you plan to bring is now no longer allowed on fair property. To do that, we put the list at WTHR.com. You can check it from there. It'll spare you the event of having to throw something away or deliver it all the way back to the car. And hey, Rich, take that tie off. What are you doing out there at the State Fair with a tie on? I'm being individual. <laughs> <laughs> As you are every day, and we love you for it. Hey, thanks so much. Well, if you hadn't heard, Rick Springfield is headlining the first concert on the Chevrolet Free Stage at the fair tonight. You can see what other groups will be performing during the rest of the fair on our website at WTHR.com.